So I wanted to put this video together for the one or two of you that might want to do this setup. Now, last year I posted a video about how to do your buddy box with two Turnigy 9X transmitters. Buddy box is also known as trainer mode. And so in this video I wanted to demonstrate how to set up trainer mode with your Free Sky Tyrannus as your master and then your Turnigy 9X as the slave. Since I had this laying around, I had a friend that wanted to learn how to fly this little mini quad, so I decided to figure out how to set this up. And before I do the setup, I want to mention that this wouldn't be possible without the Open TX for Tyrannus manual. I'll put a link to that manual below, but without it, there's no way I could have figured this out. Other than your two transmitters, you obviously need your quad with a receiver bind it to your free sky and then the stereo cable which I pulled out of my wife's car it's typical cable that you use to connect your device to your auxiliary input on your stereo so let me just demonstrate a good bind with our quad CC3D flight controller I've armed it given it some throttle so that's all good okay the next step that's really important with your Turnigy now I have the free sky module in there you might have something different but definitely in the case of Free Sky, we want to remove this module. We want no RF module plugged into the back of the Turnigy 9X. Then I'll go ahead and plug one end of the stereo cable. You can see that the screen is on, switch is off, but it picked up that input. Now on the back of the Tyrannus, this left port, above it it says DSC. You'll notice this other port your headphone port. But we want to plug the other end of the cable into the DSC port. And with the cable plugged in, you'll notice this little icon that shows that the two are connected. Okay, now here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna go ahead and click into Mini CC 3D. That's my configuration for this setup. On your model setup screen, you're gonna to go to the very bottom. I just press up one, which takes me to the bottom of the list, and you'll see that trainer mode is master. Now that will be set by default, so you'll leave that alone. Now I'll hit exit to get out of here, exit again. Now what we want to do is we want to long press menu and now we're in the radio setup screen. I'm going to hit page once to get to screen two and then again to get to screen three. Now this is the magical screen in my opinion. So trainer screen, you'll see that throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder are all off. So we're going to go ahead and turn those on. Now there are two different ways you can do this and the plus equals means sort of an additive mode. I haven't used this before, but it's sort of a joint mode where there's signal coming from both transmitters. Let's say that you could give 50% to the student while you had 50%. But what we're gonna do is actually go to replace mode so that when the switch is toggled, we're going to give full control so the student will have full control of all channels in this setup. So the other tricky thing is, on your source, the Turnigy 9X, you may or may not know that your throttle is channel 3. So we want to set that to 3. And then go down and set up our aileron. Aileron is channel 1. Now we'll set up the elevator. Elevator is channel 2. And then we'll do our rudder. And rudder is channel 4. Now here's the next trick. It's this calibration screen. Now I'm showing you the two transmitters because going to go ahead and give 100% throttle to the Turnigy and you'll notice this value at 169. If I move the throttle up and down you'll see it go up and down and all our other channels will move around as well when I move the sticks. This is another important bit. What we need to do is bring our throttle all the way up to roughly 50% and I just use the little tick marks on the left of the throttle to know where to be. So I have that right at about 50% and of course the aileron, elevator, and rudder all stick in the middle. So what we need to do next is we want to go down to Cal and we're going to press Menu. You can see that everything has zeroed out. Now watch when I bring my throttle down. We go to negative 85 and then I'm going to take it all the way up. We go to positive 83. Okay, so here's the last item we want to deal with on this screen. And so we'll go up to Multiplier and you'll notice that we're at a minus 85 when our throttle on the Turnigy is all the way down. If I go all the way up, we're at 83. So what I'll do next, I'll hit enter, and then I'll just bump up that multiplier. You can see we're at minus 94. I'm gonna go to 1.2, roughly, and you can see we're at minus 103. I go up to about right at 100. With my rudder, if I go left, I'm at minus 101, right, 
about 100, pretty close to what we want. So we're almost done, there's just one last step. Now originally I thought after I did this I'd be ready to go to set up the trainer, but actually you need to enable the trainer switch in OpenTX. Now with those settings saved, I'm going to hit exit to go all the way out to our main screen. And now what we wanna do is we wanna to go to menu and we wanna to go to page 11, which is custom functions. So I'm gonna hit enter then I'm going to hit enter again and I'm going to toggle my trainer switch and if I toggle it you can see that we have the down mode and the up mode. Now what's cool about the switch is if you toggle it if it's in up mode that means by default you're in trainer mode or if it's in down mode that means you have to hold the switch down for trainer mode to be enabled. So me personally I'm a fan of having to hold it down to be in trainer mode so I can easily flick off and take over. Now we're gonna to go to the next option, I'm gonna hit enter, and we're going to go up, and you'll notice that right about here we're in trainer mode. So that's the custom function for that switch. Now you can see that we can actually go up and selectively enable trainer for different inputs, rudder, elevator, throttle, so pretty elaborate what you can do, but we're gonna go trainer mode, full trainer, I'm going to go down and hit enter. So now you can see that everything is set up. Go ahead and exit out of there. Okay, so now our trainer mode is set up. Let me start with just demonstrating that this is the master. You see our fast blue blinking LED on that CC3D. I'll give a little throttle. So that all works well. I'm going to go ahead and disarm. Now, if I go ahead and try to arm over here, you can see that blue LED is still blinking slowly. But let me go ahead and turn trainer mode on. The switch back here, I'm gonna hold it. You need to be able to hold it in place. And I'm gonna arm. See our fast blue blinking LED? And I got throttle. Now watch when I let off. Trainer mode is no longer enabled and now the slave no longer has control and the master now does. So that's how you configure your Tyrannus and turn a G9X for buddy box mode, AKA trainer. And it took me quite a bit of time to figure that out. Like I mentioned that document earlier, it was very helpful and I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.